Hey guys, Tuna Marine here. Another video for you. Today I wanted to discuss uh, Syria. Uh, a few of you have asked me about my thoughts on it. You know, what um, maybe what I think we should do. Um, and just my overall impressions of the situation. <clears throat> if you've been following it, essentially there's just been a lot of uh, shenanigans going on there. There's reports of possible chemical weapons being used um, against you know civilians and against the you know, their enemies whatever the case and I think that's what makes the whole situation a little complicated um, chemical weapons are bad shit uh, if you don't know what a chemical weapon is or what it can do essentially if you release I mean there's a shit ton of different chemical weapons you can use but if you release one upwind of an enemy unit and you know the wind's just right, it's going the right speed, and you release it, you can literally destroy an entire unit in minutes. Um, depending on what you can what you use. I mean there's stuff that'll essentially turn your lungs into liquid. There's shit that'll um, like burn your skin just by touch making it having contact with it in the air um like essentially melt your skin there there's all sorts of nasty ass shit out there um and if you're able to get it out there before the enemy's aware of it then you can just fuck their whole world up uh, i hate chemical weapons i hate the thought of them they are cheap ploys used by people who can't actually fight conventionally and who cannot fight um, honorably I think if you're gonna take the fight to somebody you need to do it you know mano y mano you, none of this chemical weapon bullshit um, but I think that's why the US is taking such an interest um, and then plus you know Israel's over there and they're a big ally of ours I support Israel and pretty much everything they do um, they're just they're just good dudes. Um, I think in, in terms of what we should do, honestly, unless someone really hits Israel hard, I don't think we should do a goddamn thing. I don't think that we should risk our Marines and our soldiers and sailors and everyone else to, you know, f for their fucking battles that they're going to have over there. Um, if they attack you know, an American embassy over there, um, then I think we should have a response. Um, unlike the shit in Benghazi where we just let those, the two SEALs, the ambassador and his assistant die. Um, I mean, I think that whole situation's fucking BS, but I think the proper response to that would have been to send in fast movers, send in the fucking airplanes, send in helicopters to bring in fast teams. Um, to take over the embassy and protect those people. If that's if that's what happens in Syria or just any of the areas in that region, I think that's what we should do. Uh, if they, you know, f for God's sake, they nuke Syria or I'm sorry, they nuke Israel, then I think it's fucking game on at that point. Um, and hopefully it doesn't happen because if that happens, we're gonna nuke someone and then someone's gonna nuke us, and shit's just gonna go downhill quickly. Um, but other than that, because, I mean, Israel honestly can defend themselves against practically fucking everything. They're just, they're very good at what they do. And I think unless there's something really crazy going on, I think we should just let it be. I think we should just not get involved. We're involved in enough shit around the world that, that, uh, that frankly, it just gets us in a lot of trouble. I mean, shit, we're giving away money to countries that fucking burn our flag on a daily basis. And I think shit like that is pointless. I think we need to focus here at home. Um, but that's just me. Um, if we end up going and fighting Syria, I can guarantee we'll kick ass because that's what we do. Um, but I think a lot of people will die uh, that don't necessarily need to die from our side of it. I think that that you know like I said we just need to to rein it in a bit and and focus here at home 
Um, it's an interesting situation, though. I mean, although it has been going on for freaking centuries upon centuries, just fighting and bickering and shit over there. That's just what the Middle East does, frankly. Um, and it's never going to stop. It's just, it's really not. And so I think sending our guys over there to be killed, um, well, not to be killed, but sent over there to fight, which will end up in a lot of guys being killed, is just not worth it. Um, but once again, that's just my opinion. I'm definitely going to be following Syria. I mean, if anything major happens, I'll def I'm sure I'll talk about it uh, so you guys can, you know, keep on track of it. I definitely recommend, as I've said before, to follow the news if you don't, especially if you're going to join, um, because this shit will directly affect you. Um, so I just feel that it's important. But yeah, I'm uh, going to record a couple more things, and then I got... Uh, some shit I gotta take care of, but I'm gonna try to get a few videos knocked out today. At least the the talking part. I'll need to report, record gameplay. I'm playing WoW right now. Um, I'm paused, essentially, in it, flying up away from you know AFK from it. Um, but I'm not recording that because you know a few of you guys, you know, for whatever reason, have uh, <laughs> said you don't want to see as much WoW anymore, which is fine. Um, if it comes down to it, then I'll use WoW footage because it's you know all I may have but I'll try and mix it up I want to get some Daisy um, and let's see uh, some SimCity I think you guys like that that game is the shit um, <clears throat> and maybe some Battlefield I think I got to download it again since I uh, redid my computer and shit um, but yeah so it's, it's actually working smoothly and what was wrong with it is well, one I wanted to redo the operating system anyway um, and just get it fresh because it was just having issues and, um, and so I redid that and then the day I was actually going to get ready to do it the computer just fucking died the monitor wouldn't come on and so started start troubleshooting it took, I couldn't figure it out um, I had a few ideas but I had no real way of um, verifying it I wanted his a friend's opinion before I um, started messing around with too much shit so I took it over to his place and figured out one of my RAM sticks, one of the four gig sticks, died. Um, just for whatever reason. I mean, it was working fine. I was literally watching, like, a YouTube video, and then I stepped away for a minute, and my computer went to sleep after it was, like, five minutes or something. And uh, and um, it just wouldn't come back from sleep. So, yeah, RAM stick died. So I switched out the RAM, um, and now everything's fucking hunky-dory. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go knock some more shit out. Uh, there's a couple videos that I'm going to do that I think you guys will like. I'm going to do two boot camp stories actually following this. Um, and I think they're both pretty pretty funny now that I look at it. During it, fucking suck dick. But now it's, uh, it's good shit. So yeah, I will uh, appreciate you guys watching. As always, if you have any questions or anything, hit me up. You know how. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all that sort of shenanigans. Um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Simplify.